Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about the wireless communication protocol believed to be a new game changer for the Internet of Things, known by the name Z-Wave. But before getting into its range and its specification, let's have a quick look into what Z-Wave is and what it does. Well, Z-Wave is a wireless communication protocol which has been known for home automation. Wireless communication protocol is simply a set of rule or a standard that an application or program should follow in order to communicate wirelessly. It's just like how we human beings communicate in one common language, like I'm delivering this information in an English language and you guys are able to understand me because we are following the same communication protocol. So this Z-Way protocol allows multiple wireless devices to communicate with each other in an affordable and reliable way with easy to use smart products. Now let's dig deep into this protocol. So Z-Wave was first developed by a startup company named Gensys, which was founded by two Danish engineers. These two engineers were trying to build something for their home, which later on turned out to be the protocol implemented by many companies all over the world. Later in 2008, it was acquired by Sigma Designs. After seeing the potential of this technology, different companies decided to join their alliance, which is formerly known as G-Wave Alliance which currently have more than 300 companies with more than 1500 devices that support 40 million applications worldwide. Z-Wave operates under source routed MIS architecture. In this scenario, if one device or node needs to communicate to the other node at the end, and if it's not directly reachable, then it talks to the nearest node, and the nearest node passes the message to the next node, and that will send the message to the destination, and vice versa. The nodes are added to mess network by the method of pairing and can be removed using the same method. A Z-Wave network can have up to 232 nodes. It operates at 908.42 MHz in the US and Canada and 921.4 MHz in Australia and New Zealand. But it uses other frequencies in other countries depending on the regulations. The available data rates include 9600 bits per second and 40 kilobits per second, and they can reach up to 30 meters. Since Z-Wave is primarily focused on home automation, it is known specifically for control monitoring and status reading applications in the residential and light commercial environment. The beauty of G-Wave is that it can be added to almost anything electronic. Even the things that might not strike us as an intelligent devices, such as lights, appliances like refrigerator or washing machines, thermostats, door locks, and several other applications that can be found in our home. Status of these items, their current setting can be observed and updated via our smartphone app without the users having to be in the contact with their devices. Any suspicious activities and users are provided with an alert. G-Wave technology is mature, proven, and broadly deployed within over 50 million products sold worldwide. It has been extensively used in residential systems throughout numerous business spectrums, including ADT, Alarm.com, AT&T, DSC, GE, Intralogix, Honeywell, Lowe's, and other prominent service providers worldwide, including hotels, cruise ships, and vacation rentals. Usually when it comes to comparison, Z-Wave is often compared with Jigbee because of their similar working nature. Even though they might look similar and they are used for almost the same thing, they have several differences, which make G-Wave beneficial than Jigbee. It has been reported that the protocol used by Jigbee is far more complex, resulting in long development time. On the other hand, Z-Wave uses a far simpler protocol so development can be faster and simpler. G-Wave's range is greater than Jigbee simply because of the lower operating frequency. And Jigbee uses widely populated 2.4 GHz ISM band which is it must share with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and other radios that can produce interference. Whereas Z-Wave uses its own band 908.42 MHz since there is no chance of interference at all. Compared to Jigbee, Z-Wave uses a very low power consumption 
The operation on batteries has set to last for more than 5 years. Well that's all about Z-Wave, hope you guys enjoyed the video.